All right, hello grade eights and welcome to 8.5 Solving Equations Part 2 found conveniently on page 268 of your textbook and the goal is to solve equations by balancing essentially what you do to one side of the equation you do to the other side here's one side there's the other what you do to one side you do to the other balance both sides are to be equal all right so let's take a look at this one here now 3n plus 2 equals 17. Your goal is to isolate the variable. That's the variable. You need to isolate that. You need to find out what is n. Write this down. Isolate the variable. So that's our goal here. Find out what's the variable. So in this case, how are we going to do this? We need to eliminate the numbers around it. And how are we going to eliminate it? There's many ways that you've heard and they all mean the same thing. So I'm going to talk you through a bunch of examples using the terminology that we've come across in the past. So let's do this here. We're going to balance these two sides. Now, your next line in your equation will read like this. You need to eliminate that too. How am I going to eliminate that too? All right. 3n plus 2. Well, plus 2. I'm going to eliminate it like this. Minus to subtract 2. Now, because we're balancing, there's an equal sign. You do the same thing on the other side. So 17 is minus 2. So then you're left with 3n equals 15. All right, how am I going to get rid of this? How am I going to get rid of the 3? I'm going to divide it by itself. And you, what you do to one side, you do it to the other. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, so the next line will be 1n, or just n. 15 divided by 3 is 5. n is 5. How, let me see if this works. 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Beautiful. It works. Next. All right, we've heard this carrying over, moving it to the other side. It's all I hear. I move it to the other side. Well, here's why you're moving it to the other side. Because of the example we've, we've just did. So, t plus 8 equals 14. What is t? Your line, your next line will read as follows. Plus 8 minus 8. So you're not carrying it over. You're, you're balancing both sides. Okay, 14 minus 8. So t equals to 6. Does this work? 6 plus 8 is 14. Boom. Beautiful. That works as well. Lovely. We move on. Now, take the time, press pause, get all these examples down. So after every example, press pause, go back in case you missed it, and take down each example, work it through. I want to see all these examples next day, plus the question I'm going to be giving you at the end of this glorious presentation. Next, reversing the signs. Again, we've done this already. This is just a different way of expressing it. So 10 plus D. Well, how am I going to do? What am I doing with this 10? This is a positive 10. To eliminate this, or to in order to isolate the d, you have to subtract it from itself. Plus d. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Minus 10. So d equals 15. Does it work? 10 plus 15. You substitute the variable with the number. 10 plus 15 equals 25. Lovely. Well done. All right. Last example. 18p equals 55. What am I going to do here? We've seen this already. Just divide it by itself. Wonderful. And what we do to the left side, do the right side. What is 55 divided by 18? Well, 
works out to 3.0556. All right. So essentially 3.05 approximately. We plug that in. It's going to be 55.04 or something. So it works. And finally, for next day. Now again, pause, copy this down, take this, and bring it in tomorrow. I want to see all the examples. Plus this one. Come prepared with this equation. Work it out. And I want to see it. We'll take it up. And that's it. So this is your homework from the homework take down this equation and bring it for next day all right good good thank you very much thank you for watching we'll see you in class bye bye